Welcome to my Delacto. Today we are going to discuss vitamin B6 which is the water soluble vitamins. Actually there are four compounds that is actually fall in the vitamin B6. Pyridoxine, pyridoxal, pyridoxamine and the all derivatives of the pyridine. So if you see here first compound that is the pyridoxine. Pyridoxine. This is the first compound that is actually found in the vitamin B6. Next compound is the pyridoxal. Pyridoxal. And third one is the pyridoxamine. Pyridoxamine. And all the derivatives of the pyridine. And all derivatives of pyridine. D. So these are basically the four compounds that is actually found in the vitamin B6. You will see just the difference of the functional group. In the pyridoxin, you will see the attachment of hydroxyl group. Okay. In the pyridoxal, you will see the attachment of aldehyde group. And in the pyridoxamine, you will see the attachment of amino group. As the name indicate amine and when the compound, when the name of the compound ending with AL that its mean it is the aldehyde group. So actually name indicate what functional group actually present in this compound. So here are basically the four things. Pyridoxin, pyridoxal, pyridoxamine and the R derivative that is actually derived from the pyridine. Basic, basically in all these rings you will see the one thing is common that is the structure of the ring. Okay. And if you see here, pyridoxine is mainly obtained from the plant, but the pyridoxal and the pyridoxamine actually are obtained from the animal. Okay. These compounds actually the precursor of the pyridoxal phosphate. This one. This three compounds actually the precursor of the pyridoxal phosphate or you can say PLP okay now the pyridoxal phosphate actually derived from the pyridoxin pyridoxal and pyridoxamine so if you see the structure that the aldehyde group will be the same but you will see the addition of phosphate group this one. That's why we call the pyridoxal. That is the same with the pyridoxal structure. But the difference is addition of the phosphate group. That's why we call it pyridoxal phosphate. This is the active form of the vitamin B6 and this pyridoxal phosphate act as a coenzyme in the different reactions. So if we discuss the different reaction in which the pyridoxal phosphate act as a coenzyme. So, it is actually involved in the reaction in which you will see the involvement of the amino acids specifically. And you will see uh, this is also involved in the reaction in which synthesis of the dopamine and serotonin as well. So, first reaction is the transamination. As the name indicates, the transfer of the amino group from one compound to another compound is called transamination. So if we discuss the example, that will be the oxaloacetate, oxaloacetate and the glutamate, glutamate, these two compounds. Oxaloacetate will convert into the, here is the oxaloacetate will convert into the aspartate and the glutamate will convert into the alpha keto glutarate okay now if you see that in the glutamate you will see the amino group amino group now this amino group will transfer or will remove first of all from the glutamate amino group will release and it will convert into the alpha ketoglutarate. This is the one thing. 
and the amino group that is actually released from the glutamate will given to the oxaloacetate and after accepting the amino group it will convert into the aspartate now these four compounds actually involve in one reaction and that actually happens in the transaminase enzyme specifically aspartate transaminase so enzyme that is aspartate aspartase transaminase is involved in this converter and the coenzyme will be the pyridoxal phosphate so pyridoxal plp actually work as a coenzyme in this reaction so this is the one thing and aspartate will accept the group okay next is the deamination d means removal removal of the amino group that is called deamination so if we discuss the example that will be the serine okay after removing the amino group from the serine it will convert into the pyruvate and here is the removal of the ammonia so this is the second example again in this reaction the enzyme here is the enzyme and in this enzyme you will see the coenzyme will be the plp pyridoxal phosphate this is the same thing next is the decarboxylation removal of the carbon dioxide this is the deamination this is the decarboxylation then in this example you will see the histidine will convert into the hista me with the release of the carbon dioxide again pyridoxal phosphate will act as a coenzyme okay condensation reaction in which you will see the combination of two compounds that is the uh, glycine will combine with the succinyl coa and it will result in the formation of the gamma amino levulenic acid that is actually in uh, this is the reaction in which that actually happens in the rpcs in the formations of the hemoglobin so that is the condensation reaction again in this reaction you will see the pyridoxal phosphate will be the coenzyme so here are basically the different reactions in which the pyridoxal phosphate act as a coenzyme okay now next important thing which we have to remember vitamin b6 is actually a water soluble vitamin and as we know that the water soluble vitamins easily excreted from the body but this is the one vitamin that causes the toxicity when it, when the amount of the vitamin b6 excretes from the normal so if someone takes the 500 mg per day vitamin b6 that it create the neurological problems and that is against the rda recommended dietary allowance so the amount of the vitamin should be less than the 500 mg per day okay next if we discuss why vitamin b6 deficiency happens in one's body so first of all you will see most important vitamin b6 deficiency when someone takes the drugs that is actually used for the tb that is the isoniazid so first thing which you have to remember is the when someone take the drugs that is isoniazid that is used for in the treatment of the tb so isoniazid actually inactivate the pyridoxin here is the pyridoxin and as you know that the from the pyridoxin it will convert into the pyridoxal phosphate and ultimately it is actually involved in the different reaction when we take the isoniazid it actually inactivate the pyridoxin when it will inactivate the pyridoxin then we will see the deficiency of the vitamin b6 so that's why when someone take the isoniazid that person should also take the vitamin b supplements as well so along with the isoniazid you will also take the vitamin b supplement that is very much important 
Otherwise, you will face the vitamin B6 deficiency. And when you see the vitamin B6 deficiency, there, are, there is a lot of chances of the peripheral neuropathy in which you will see the numbness of the and tinglings of the hands and the feet as well. Okay. Next is the that deficiency happens in the infants. So why vitamin B6 deficiency you will see in infants because in infants you will see the vitamin B6 deficiency because in the infants those infants are feed on milk having low amount of the vitamin B6. So in this case you also see the vitamin B deficiency specifically in the infants. And next is the contra oral contraceptives. So those female who take the oral contraceptives also face the vitamin B6 deficiency. And last is the alcoholism. Those person who take the alcohol also face the vitamin B6 deficiency. And when you see the vitamin B deficiency, then what actually symptoms you will see in the vitamin B6 deficiency? So first symptom is the anemia. The question is what type of anemia you will see in the vitamin B6 deficiency and that is the microcytic hypochromic anemia. This is the one thing. Microcytic, microcytic hypochromic anemia. This is the one thing. Second thing you will see the seborrhea, specifically nasolabial seborrhea, in which you will see the around the or at the corners of the nose you will see the seborrhea, in which you will see the sebum excessively secreted from the sebum gland. So you will see the nasolabial seborrhea, seborrhea. Okay. And you also see the glossitus in which you will see the swelling of the tongue. Okay, that is glossitus you can also see in the this case. And you can also see the uh, digestive disorders and the conversion in the infants. So this is all about the vitamin B6. If you have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.